But what about us? We'll always have bears. We lost until you came to Casablanca. We got it back last night. But I said I would never leave you. And you never will. But I've got a job to do. And where I'm going you can't follow. And what I've got to do you can't be any part of. Listen, I'm no good at being noble. But it doesn't take much to see that the problems of three little people don't amount to a hill of beans in this crazy world. I'm but a delicious candy, so I can only cry on the inside. Now, now. He is looking at you, kid. Ah, it's a classic story of unrequited love between a man and his chocolate candies. Beautiful. So the basis for this recipe kind of came upon me by happenstance when I was making my mint Milano recipe. Uh, the mint filling in between the mint Milano recipe is kind of what inspired this recipe here. Uh, click above in the suggestion box if you want to watch that mint Milano recipe. Uh, another delicious chocolate and mint dessert there. But I digress. Uh, anyways, in the midst of making those mint Milanos, when I made the mint filling for those cookies, I noticed that that uh, creamy mint substance that I made tasted an awful uh, lot like a Junior Mint or a York Peppermint Patty. So uh, this recipe is inspired by that. And uh, I've only tweaked a couple things uh, from that mint Milano recipe that make this a little different. So in short, to uh, answer the questions reverberating around in your mind right now, hey, hey Bake Monkey, what are the couple differences? Yeah, well I'm glad you asked, self. Uh, the difference is we're going to add a little cornstarch and we're going to put some boiled sugar syrup in there as well to help kind of temper this mint mixture and help it set up better. And again, thank you for asking, self. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, here to help. I know you are. Thank you again. You're welcome again. Well, this just got awkward. Uh, you're gonna want to work relatively fast with this mixture because it does tend to thicken up quickly, uh, particularly if you're gonna be piping out little florets like I did. Uh, I actually couldn't get the last bit out of the uh, piping bag here, which is why I didn't fill up my uh, tray here with the little mint florets. Uh, so it works quicker than I did, so you can get all of your mixture out of your piping bag. And some ultra fast motion there. Uh, makes about 15 minutes of work turn into 10 seconds of you in pleasure. How about that? And there's your final payoff. It's like being a 21st century prospector. Except uh, instead of the prospect of a huge score of gold making you potentially rich, you're scoring a nice chocolatey treat that's only rich in character. You're welcome. You're absolutely welcome.